Hello there everyone, my name is Oversoul, this is Oversoul Gaming, and welcome back to Danganronpa Extra Episode Ultra Despair Girls. Anyways, we saved at a save point last time, and uh, it looks if like you there's... you move that electric car, you should be able to run over the Monokunas with it. Oh, I know. Would that make them dead or broken? Well, doesn't matter. I forgot how to change my ammo already. Okay, that works. Anyways, what's this? Another so book? Cruel. Why did they do such cruel things? They probably they they probably don't have a real reason. From what I can tell, they're just doing it for fun. It, they're doing something like this for fun? What are these kids? You're right. Whoa, when I got here, they were already wearing those helmets and marching in the streets. Killing the adults and bringing Monokumas with them like a parade. Why do they hate the adults? Like I said, I have no idea. I'm just as confused as you are. Stop asking me about every little thing. Jeez, you don't have to be so angry. It's because you nag just like those brats. I mean... I guess, but hmm. maybe, just maybe, you're a bit ridiculous. No, so stop. For more info. Wrong button. I hit, keep it in the wrong button. All right, here we go. No. All right, cool. That was cool. That worked. That worked in our favor. Oh, it's a Monokuma vending machine thing. Ammo! Good, we need that. Up the bridge, up the bridge. Ooh, we're coming up on a cutscene. You little brat. This is the part that I thought it was, I think. <laughs> yeah. These nasty children over here celebrating death. Wait a minute. Oh, crap, there was an item over there. I need to go back real quick. Okay, what is it? It's right here. It's this shiny item right here. Oh, it's another... Oh, it's a study book. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's for helping us level up. Yeah, we need that. We need that. Matter of fact. Okay, cool. Wait a minute. No, wait, we're trying to save up for highly anticipated body. We kind of need that. All right. Surely, trying to escape by getting across this bridge won't cause our device yes. to blow up. All we gotta do now is cross the bridge! We did it, Toko. Just a little more. We're going to be alright! I wonder if it will really end this easily. Not really. Huh? I... I have a bad feeling about this. This bridge has a... a dangerous scent. Scent? Hey! You you just just Hey, you look kind of like Hina. You guys don't look like you're with those kids. That means you're on my side, right? Right? Huh? Oh. Uh, yeah. Look, he's a player in the game. He's got a wristband on. I knew it. Yes. Oh, this is fantastic. Man, it's been forever since I've seen a normal person. I'm so happy. I hate this kind of guy. Just walking up and talking to a girl like it was nothing. Uh... I think this handshake is over now. Hey! How much longer are you gonna hold her hand? You're like a creepy fan meeting an idol. You don't have a right no, to call anyone it's creepy. it's not like that. It's just this wristband. Could it be? Were you all so captured by those kids who call themselves the Warriors of Hope? Huh? And then you got thrown out here and told it was part of some game, right? Well, look! Me too!
Okay. Oh, cool. that wristband. Oh, this is great. Well, not completely great. I'm already at my wit's end trying to figure out what to do. I guess I was just so relieved to see someone in the same spot I'm in. Still, could be better. I sort of understand. I'm also a little glad to know that I'm not alone in this situation. Right? Right? Oh, that reminds me. I never told you my name. I'm Yuta Asahina. <sighs> Asahina. That's I'm right. I'm Kamaru Naegi. Nice to meet you, Yuta. Yep, so you remember Aoi Asahina, uh, aka Hina, from the first game? This is her, uh, I want to say younger brother. Maybe older, but I think younger. Okay. Komaru Naegi. What are you doing? Oh, this? If you want to really remember a name, write it down on your palm three times. Also, if you listen closely, I'm pretty sure he's played by the same voice actor who's playing uh, the weird, the weird kid in the mask, uh, one of the members of the Warriors of Hope, the Jahiro one, the creepy one that does art. Oh, I see. I I've never heard of that. Oh, but seriously, it is so reassuring to finally have a friend to work together with. Oh, hey, by the way, who's this? She's been, um, glaring at me this whole time. Oh, this? Just a serial killer, that's all. No biggie. Oh, uh, this is Toko. Toko Fukawa. It's fine. You don't have to make introductions like this. Not for an outcast like me. Enough already. Listen to you two. Going on like your lovers already. And you j just met. It, we're we're just trying like to survive. That. Well, come on. Crazy I'm sure we'd broad. all be happier on that side of the bridge. Now let's hurry up and get out of this town. All right, cool. So it's a party Toko, of three we now. We should go too. What is it? Like I said, I I don't like it. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh, you're just being paranoid. Come on, if we don't hurry, Yuta will leave us behind. Hey! Don't just run off! Hold on! Don't forget that there is a boundary, and your whole shit will break this if way. you go Let's past go. it. Yuta! Slow down! He can't. He's a gymnast so like his sister. Too. Must be in the jeans. Yeah. Hurry! This way! <laughs> I like if how we to get across this bridge, we're outside Toa City. I'm sure those kids won't chase us. I Once like how Toko said town, too. Let's celebrate by toasting with sports drinks. She figured out immediately who he was after he said Wait, his name. Hold on. Oh, dead end. Looks like the bridge is out. Are you kidding me? What's going on here? The bridge collapsed! No! Isn't there something we can do? There's nothing we can do. It's impossible to get over the bridge now. Damn it, we were almost there. Stop scrying with us! What the hell is this? Hmm. How pathetic. Giving up right away just because things got a little screwed up. You didn't even want to go this way. If you have the energy to shout and scream like that, use it to move your weak ass instead. Huh? Move? Just go back to the city. This part of the bridge might be unstable as well. Go back? You want us to actually go back there? What choice yes. do you have? That's really? That's the only way. If you want to live, <coughs> you can't Excuse always me. take the easy path. Sometimes you gotta take the painful ones. On that path, you might suffer and writhe in pain, but at least you'll survive. You say that as if you've experienced it before. Oh, she has. Hm. What? She was in a killing game with your sister. One of the. Uh oh. Well, don't just stand there, fucking move! Idiots. Damn it, if this keeps up, the whole bridge is gonna collapse! Well, at least we have six minutes. Bye. The trailer is blocking the way! Is there some way we can move this? Oh. 
What's with them? Oh. Omaru, do something. Got him. We just needed to blow. Let's run. Full speed. We just needed to blow up the grenade. Run! It's gonna collapse! Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going. No, I know. Oh, this again? Damn it, they came out again. <laughs> oh, we're done for! No, we got it. We're good. See, we're here. Just a bit more no need to worry, it's all in the bag. I, I thought we were gonna die. We're safe for now. But with a bridge like this, there's no way we can get across. N now we have no chance of escape. No, not yet. I'm not going to give up yet. W why are you yelling? Because it's How anime. I explain it. Well, with all the despair I've felt so far, I've prepared myself. And if I don't do everything I can, I know that nothing's gonna get solved. What are you doing? Isn't it obvious? I'll swim! What? Swim? Yeah, I mean, my specialty is more track and field. I'm not that confident in swimming. Yeah, that well, was my sister. It's not that I'm not a good swimmer, it's just... There was always someone better. Your sister. Yeah. But now's not the time for that. Can't chicken out now. Wait. <coughs> Even if you are going to swim, it looks really far to the other side. Yeah, that looks pretty tiring. But the water is freezing, and with all the pollution, uh, there are weird creatures in there. Then I guess I'll just be extra careful. No, it's not that. I'm telling you not to try it, you idiot swimmer. D don't be a hero. Yeah, did you guys not listen idiot to the rules? Idiot swimmer? But I'm on the track team. <sighs> anyway, this isn't the time to rush into things. Let's think this out. I'm honored that you worry about me, but I've already made up my mind. S so you're just going to refuse to listen to reason? Look. All I have to do is ask for help from those future Foundation guys after I cross, right? I'll bring back help, I promise, no matter what it takes. So just wait for me until then, okay? Good luck. Uh, Yuta? Hmm? Um, be careful. If you run into any trouble, come back right away, okay? Hey, no need to worry. I'll get to the other side any way I can. All right, well. Oh, well, with that music, I think we already know what's going to happen. Yep. Now who didn't see that coming? What? No. What's happening? Don't go. What do we do? We've got to hurry and save him. You Blown to pieces? <laughs> Are you serious? It was a little late. What we just saw. Do you seriously think that it's possible for him to be alive after that? No. 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 <laughs> hey, you Hina. Nothing from averting your <sighs> eyes from reality. No matter how horrible. I got or painful. Bad Listen, news, Hina. We, we found saw your Utah brother. Asahina, and we saw that huge explosion. 
He's dead. He died. Yuda died. But, but why? Well, because this is a killing the game. doesn't matter. Even if we refuse to accept or understand it, it's the truth. That's reality. Yeah, Toko knows what this is like already. <laughs> you, you... Nothing's going to change, no matter how hard you cry. <laughs> yeah, but she's still entitled to have feelings. Damn. <laughs> Just wait till Hina finds out what happened to her brother. Ooh, boy. Come on, that's enough. If you're done crying, we should get going. If we stay here, we're going to be an easy target for Monokumas. It's... it's impossible. Impossible? <clears throat> what are you talking about? If you just give up now, you're going to die. Well, I'm just gonna die anyway. I'm like you. I'm... I'm just some normal, regular girl. I... I can't even do anything! No matter what I do, or how hard I try, I'm... I'm just gonna die here! Well, you do so have a gun. So you're saying you're just giving up? Stop screwing around! I won't let you! You wanna die, huh? Well, if you really wanna die that much, I won't stop you. But, are you really sure you want to die? You... you wanna die right here? In this place? Not seeing your family or friends ever again? Are you really just gonna accept that? Of course not. I want... I want to see my family. But... but we've been separated for over a year. I don't even know where they are. Well, it's we know where Makoto is. Anyway. I'll probably never see them again. Can't you just be a little more positive instead of giving up right away all the time? Can't you just tell her her brother's alive? You don't understand. <laughs> that would help. The worst despair of all comes from having hope like that. Having such strong hope and just losing it in an instant. Like what we just saw. So why don't you just overcome that despair as well? Although I doubt you're even willing to listen in your state. If that's the case, at least run. You're saying that you're going to die anyway, so you're at least prepared, right? If you think you're going to die, at least run away. If you're wrong, you live. If you were right, then at least you die on the run, and not just standing here suffering. You know what? Sound logic. Why? Why do you bother trying to cheer someone like me up? That's not what I would call it. Like I said, I'm a member of Future Foundation, and I can't just... Abandon you. It's like literally my job to save you. If you keep up you. that sniveling and crying, I'll start to seriously consider it. <sighs> okay. I'll try. At least a little bit longer. Jeez, you're such a burden. Look who's you talking. Said to just run, but what are our options at this point? The bridge is a no go, and there's no other way to get out of town, right? Did you forget what I just told you? You can't just give up right away. Anyway, now that I think about it, I remember a subway running through this town. Huh? A subway? Did the subway line go out of the city? Y yeah, I think it did. You should have said that before! Well, sorry. I just remembered it right now. And besides, there's no way the trains work. You're right. If the power's out, they definitely won't be working. Yeah, but we can walk. We're trapped. Ugh, like I said, you can't give up so easily. Even if the train stopped working, we can get out of town if we just walk along the tracks. So don't give up. And let's go. Y yeah. Okay. Yeah, buddy, let's well, do this. I don't know if it's okay to say this, but I'll do it for you to sake as well. Jeez, you're simple-minded. Getting all riled up from a half-assed speech like that. This is what you wanted! But still, I... The way Yuta died, there's no way I can just keep it secret from that idiot swimmer. Well, either way, first Master and I need to get out of this town. Why would you keep it secret anyways? That was her so brother, you fuck. So, where's the subway? We didn't see it on the way over here. 
I, I'm not sure exactly. We'll just have to find it ourselves. Well, Toko, I'm starting to think that if we work together, we can find it for sure. Stop wasting your breath on sentimental crap and let's get moving already. Yeah, 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 Toko, let's go. Let's get out of here together, okay? That's the idea. It, Anyways. It might be better if we go back to where we came out of that hotel before. Yeah. We went straight for the bridge last time. There should be a path going the opposite way. Then let's go over there. No! Oh shit, there's enemies. Yeah, it is a good thing to kill them because we, you know, level up. There are some situations where it might be better to run, but most of the time it's better to fight. Unless you're running low on ammo. In this particular case. Is there anything around the corner here? No, okay. Are we going back to the ruined building again? What are you, a ruin enthusiast? Wait, isn't this... You can't get to the subway station that way. But if you want to waste your time, fine. Nope, you're right. You're right. I went the wrong way. My bad. So we gotta go this way. I see now. And what's this? What's with this kid? It's a skill it's like shop. A shop? Welcome! They're actually helping us with this shit. Yeah, I'm cool. I don't need to I don't need a tutorial, I already know what I'm doing. Alright, thank you. Roger! Let's see. Da 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 da. Wee! Sold. Okay. Wee! Sold. Wee! Alright. No, damn it. Wrong thing. Wrong thing. Truth bullets. Let's see. Largely energetically. Alright, so what I basically did was I just attached uh, word bling to my truth bullets to basically give them more power. Uh, I don't know how else to explain it besides that. <laughs> oh, look, another cutscene. A new type of Monokuma. Siren Monokumas, they summon other Monokumas to the area. So you have to try to kill them before their alarm can goes off. Can go off, I mean. And I think if you don't 
kill them fast enough, more Monokumas will just keep showing up, so... Alright. Yeah, Hina's brother is not the only family member of characters from the first Whoa, game that we're gonna one. that Looks we're gonna like see here. Monokuma kid has a gift for us. Dance. Oh right. If you use a dance bullet on the siren monokumas, then they do like a they start dancing and they attract all the other monokumas in the area to them, which is basically it's a distraction to help you get by. <laughs> Those kids are our enemies, right? Why are they helping us? It's all part of the game. It's all part of the game. The killing game. Whenever villains set up killing games, they always make rules. So... Uh... Oh, right, I gotta shoot it. Okay. Looks like that ammo you just picked up and that electric car over there could be useful. Yep. All right, so you see what we're supposed to do here to take them all out at once? We're going to move over here. Since they're distracted with those bodies right there, we'll be fine. We're going to shoot this one right here with the dance bullet. And then while all of them are standing next to it distracted, we're going to shoot that car with the move bullet and kill them all at once. Run for it! Damn it, I missed one. Oh well, I tried to get them all at once. I think that was the goal for the extra stuff, but... Hey, a survivor! Uh, are you alright? Uh, uh, are you a kid? Are you a kid? Uh, no, no, I'm not. We're being attacked by the children too. I'm on your side. I see. Uh, I, I see. Uh, I'm sorry. I, I have to always have my guard up, you know, or else I'll end up dead. I know it's pathetic, surviving by running and hiding like a coward. You ran all the way here by yourself? No. No. At first, it was my whole family with me, but now I'm the only one. My parents and my wife all ended up prey to those Monokumas. Um, if you want, do you want to come with us? I'm sure it would be better off than better than running alone. Tempting offer, but I'm sorry, I can't. My right leg's torn up from a Monokuma. I can't run with just one leg. Then, I'll lend you my shoulder. No. No, it's fine. I already let my family down. I can't bring harm to two strangers. But... But... What's going on? He, he said it's fine. We're barely moving fast enough as it is. We can't protect an adult with a bad leg, too. He has a better chance of surviving if he hides somewhere by himself. Yes. Yeah, she's right. Thanks for your concern, but she's absolutely right. Correct. Well, if that's the case, okay. <sighs> huh? W what? What's this out of nowhere? Uh, I let my family die right in front of my eyes, and now I'm making two young girls pity me. I'm pathetic. Just so pathetic. Alright, well this got awkward. Time to go. Okay, I guess we'll go in the direction of that kid. Oh, another... what's this? Oh, another book. What's going on? Why are all the books we find in this town trashy? Did everyone with good taste die off or something? Um... I'm sure the person who dropped this was just a kid. All boys have a superhero phase after all. Don't mess with me! Oh, boys, don't you dare! My noble master Biakua would never befoul himself with this childish crap. 
Hmm, don't you think Biakyu is kind of like a superhero in a way? Huh? What do you mean? Like when he rescued me, his timing was so perfect, just like a hero's. Master doesn't think of you as his damsel in distress at all. You're no Lois Lane, woman. I, I didn't mean it like that. <sighs> well, I can never be too careful. You never know who's a homewrecker until it's too late. But... But I know what you mean about the perfect timing. Lots of strange coincidences lately. The Monokumas ambushed this town exactly when Future Foundation arrived to save you. It's too convenient to be coincidence. Um... Biakio said the reason they came here was because they received an anonymous rescue plea. Do you think the children did it? You're right. Wouldn't surprise me. Then the children were targeting Future Foundation from the beginning? Why? Hmm. <laughs> How would I know? But it does seem to fit. Still, I can't imagine what kind of grudge they could have against Future Foundation. The only thing I know for sure is that we can't underestimate these brats or we'll end up dead. Mm hmm. Hmm. I hope there aren't any more unpleasant surprises. Oh boy, if only you knew. Another save. Okay. To the subway tunnels then. Oh, it's... The shutter's closed. That's not good. It's locked! We can't get through it like this! Jeez, keep your voice down. If the shutter is closed, that means someone closed it. If you that's don't the case, say! We should look around here for some kind of clue. A clue? Okay. A shiny object in the hand of a dead man. Why not? He looks like a station attendant. Was he killed by those Monokumas too? The Monokumas Probably. might have done the act, but it's the kids making them kill. It's sickening. Huh? It looks like he's holding something. Yeah, at the end of the day, Monokumas are just robots. They only do what they're either programmed or commanded to do by whoever's controlling them. Could this key be... Running into you and not even apologizing? Who raised that little brat? He stole the key, you blind fool. Toko, this is bad! What? The key! The kid stole it! Huh? We gotta go after that kid! <laughs> if we don't have the key, we can't get into the subway! No, shit. Uh, Why do things like uh, that hey. need to be explained? You wasted a lot of time letting him get a huge head start over explaining that kind of shit. When all you really need to say is, he, he stole the key, let's go get him, and then take off immediately. Wait, hold on! Give me that key! Hold it, you goddamn little... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how I feel about kids, too. Sometimes. That I'm... brat! Where'd he run off to? I joke, of course, I joke, I joke. That construction site looks suspicious. That was a close one. That son of a bitch almost sliced us up. I'm Saki the Sock, you know, showing a little skin is nice, but I'd like to be noticed too. What the fuck is that? Um... Uh, it's a picture book, right? Hmm. I guess one of the kids must have dropped it. With them controlling the Monokumas and killing adults, I forgot there was even a child inside. <laughs> Maybe it's just a phase we don't understand? Is this what's in right now? <laughs> murder? Is murder the new fad? 
Or are you talking about the book? Maybe he's hiding somewhere around here? Hey, come on out! I know you're in here! <laughs> We're not scared of you, you little piss ant. <laughs> what? That brat acting all high and mighty just because he knows we won't hurt him? Let's go around back to get that kid. Then he'll be caught just like a rat in a trap. Yeah, you're right. <sighs> this game is trying so hard to be a horror game, but at the same time, it's way too fucking goofy to really be taken seriously as a horror game. It's that arcade machine again. <laughs> If we get it right, we might be able to take them all out at once. Okay, I see how we're gonna do that. We gotta get them dancing and then blow them up. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Also, don't get me wrong though, at times this really does feel like a horror game, like a third person. Because the Monokumas, if you look at them like zombies, it then it kind of has that vibe, you know? God damn it, why is there always one straggler? Oh, apparently I got it in enough turns this time. That worked, I guess. Where are you going? That rat should be somewhere over there. You're right. Should be. We have to get the key back first. Is this it? Challenge. I will be waiting at the hospital. The hospital? Isn't that the first place we were? We have to go all the way back? Imagine that. This little brat. Does he think we're his playmates or something? Ugh, this is so frustrating that, that my eyesight is getting better. <laughs> what the fuck? Frustration leads to improved vision? Of course not. Don't take everything I say so literally. Come on. Let's just it was, go. It was a funny line, though. I'll give her that. <laughs> I'm so angry, I can see straight. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Oh, no, I guess that is right. Can I go through this door to leave? Can I? I can, cool. All right. Oh, fuck you. Dude. Cool, now we have an opening. Oh, now what? A guiding UFO. I don't remember these. Oh, it's a friendly I. I oh, okay. Okay, so these things, if we show move at them, they'll tell us where to go. Is that the Bratz radio controller? What function could this serve? I think we're seeing a real life UFO. Mm, no. I mean, technically it is. Oh, fuck me! Tragedy. I haven't played as her in a while. But I only- I mainly did that because I was about to get my shit smacked. I couldn't turn around in time. Not with these goofy controls.
I guess I should have used Toko there. Or Genocide Jack, I mean. That particular part of her, yes. And this, tr oh, trust me, this is the kind of game where we want to save often, because I'm pretty sure if we die, we have to go back to the last time we saved. So... Hey, hey, at least we don't have to use ink ribbons to do it, right? No, it really does give me mild Resident Evil vibes in terms of gameplay, the tight over-the-shoulder camera, the spooky corridors with enemy enemies, <laughs> enemies, enemies waiting around the corner, and shit like that. Wait, oh no, we've already been through here. There you are. You won't get away this time. Look, there he is getting away. Coco, the kid went that way. Oh good, more boarded up doors. Diagnosis room, what's in here? Yeah, let's get distracted. Uh, sleep lots, eat lots, play lots. Anything that makes you look like a demon, like drinking and smoking, is illegal. Oh, these are commandments for children's paradise. Any items with a picture of a demon on them are illegal. Anybody who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment. Gargle coffee for 20 hours straight. Eesh. That might kill you. Heart I didn't need, huh? No use running! Give it up already! Come on, you little bastard. Wait. Oh, I can open this one? Oh, this is where I needed to go. Ooh. This room's creepy. Like something might pop out any second. Ooh, what do you mean, pop out? Don't say something creepy like... <laughs> Ooh, that is creepy. <laughs> this is your fault, and you just had to say something, didn't you? The door's locked shut. The brat from earlier must have done it. Yeah, that thing is pretty fucking creepy. What is this aberrant Monokuma? now let's chase after that brat i've got a whole lifetime's worth of trauma to give him <laughs> Ugh, that was gross uh, i'm gonna have nightmares i don't know why but for some reason after after yuta dies toko suddenly becomes funny <laughs> like the last couple of things she said have been pretty hilarious Okay, you sneaky little fart knocker. I'm gonna fart knock your teeth down your throat. That kid went up to the second floor. Stop stopping and I, talking. I can see that. Keep chasing. Yeah, I can see it too. Why did we waste time on and telling me? Jeez, how far is this brat going to run? I don't know what it is about anime that sometimes it, it wants to treat its audience like they're stupid. You, you know, like everything has to be broken down and explained. It's not always true, but a lot of times it is. And I know I'm going to... Oh, you know what? That's right. This is where I went to turn the power back on in the first place. I remember now. I remember. I remember. I don't need to be doing any extra exploring around here.
I don't think I can take another step. I know I can't take another step. I can't walk. Monokuma destroyed my leg and I can't move. They're still around here looking for me. I'm probably going to die. They're going to find me and kill me. But I can't keep thinking about that kind of thing. I have to think happy thoughts now. If I make it home alive, I want to go to the beach with my family. I want to see the sparkling water again. I want to sit on the sand with my wife and watch our beautiful daughter play. And if she trips and falls and gets a scrape, I want to say, there, there, it's okay, sweetie. No, I can't. I can't think about the future. I'm just going to die in a few minutes. I don't want to die, but I know I will. This is the worst feeling I have ever felt. Eesh. What's in the sick room? Something sick? More ammo. Oh, it was dance ammo. I didn't realize dance ammo was limited. I wasn't paying attention, I guess. Hell yeah, got a new skin. Where are these monocles oh, coming from? Yeah, that's a good question. He wasn't in here before. You see, he showed up because we got a good item, and we have to be punished for that. That's how these things work, you see. This kid is taunting us. Oh, he's definitely not gonna get away with this. See, now slowing down to fight Monokumas, that makes sense. Slowing down to talk about something that you can both clearly see with your own eyes? Less, less sense. Another sick room, huh? This one's just got something on the bed. Pure family companion. Dad's cheating with my classmate, mom's beating up grandpa and grandma, my brother's, uh, let's see. Oh, it's, uh, it's another book. So, Volt? I do not care that much about this, I gotta be honest. Which remind no. <laughs> Stop! Um... I read the I read the important ones, but I don't want to read all of them because they're not all important. <clears throat> Challenge: The key is inside the sturdy safe. It won't open for you if you force it, so don't bother trying. If you want to open the safe, you got to solve my best riddle. The reason you can't see the answer is because you aren't thinking like a detective. Like I said, you brat. We're not here to play around with you. A child challenging us to a battle of wits. Huh. He really doesn't think much of us, does he? Huh? Toko, we can't lose against him. Y you're just going to go along with what he wants? What choice do we have? A new truth bullet, detect. That allows us to, uh... Yeah, reveal things that you wouldn't otherwise normally be able to see. Very useful. So. Bird... Um... I see the drawing. Wait, is it here? I okay, yeah. So let's see. Bird... Wig... No, no. Seagull... Wig... Bird... Glasses. That's a beard. No, wait. Oh, it's a beard, not a bird. Okay. That's the bird. It's like eyebrows. Or it's, it's meant to be, like, yeah. Okay, so... Beard is first. Bird is second. Glasses is third. Hair is fourth. Wait, it's numbers... Oh, wait a minute, I see. I have to examine them.
That says Anthony Belfour, so I think that's supposed to be the the fourth one. And then... Hmm, I'm not sure about that one. Barrett Wong, is that the first one, maybe? Alright, I think I got it. So it's 2413. Yep, there we go. You're rather excited for beating a little kid. <laughs> he says. And with this, we can get into the subway. We don't hoop. really know that. It could just be the key to some bicycle lock or something. Huh, then what do I do? I don't even know how to ride a bike. Oh, for the uh, love of God. No, that's not what I meant. It's fine. Let's just hurry up and try it. I've had enough of this hospital already. Yeah, you're right. All we gotta do now is go back to the subway. Looks like you're finally starting to get a little positive. Yeah, a little bit positive. A little bit positive. I'm positive that this is a good place to end this episode right here and now. Yes, we will make progress in the next one. We will visit the subway and see what other horrifying Monokuma-type horrors await us there. But that'll be it for this one. Let me know your thoughts on the uh, very short-lived, pun intended, meet and greet with Hina's younger brother uh in the comments down below and of course the rest of the episode too but and um if you enjoyed the video remember to click that like button and as always thank you all so much for watching and i will catch you possibly at another day definitely at another time and likely in another video okay goodbye